Welcome to Hydraulic Press channel. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And today we're going to find out is the recommendation to keep your car level when jacking it up. Is it fake news? And which one of the jacks is the best one for this forbidden task? Okay, let's see the setup. Okay, and here is the setup. Uh, I have taken the protective plates out of the table so I can put the bolts on the hole and they are keeping this magnificent thing on its place that allows us to crush car jacks at the like tilted tilted support. So how much weaker they are? Let's find out. Okay, this was rated for 1.5 tons and it did 1.2 tons and I didn't realize it while filming but now when it's starting to buckle the uh, threaded rod that goes through it uh, gets support from that bolt there and it made it way way stronger but of course that doesn't happen on the real life so 1.2 ton and our resolution on the big press isn't optimal for this test. Uh, it would be more accurate if I would use the data locking on the press itself, but uh, didn't have it. For this video, the uh, uh, like computer screen capture that you now see, it shows the same numbers, but it has lower like resolution and like time resolution also. Guess what? We have some old video where we can take the regular test of this. Look at this, this is terrifying. This got to be even worse than the previous one. And to be like honest, if I would check car up on unlevel road with this, I never would put this like, like this. So you have to be like extra stupid to do this. And this is a 300 ton hydraulic press. Now there is 1.2 tons, here it goes. And as a reminder, if you want to yourself crush something with the press, our Star Stuff Virtual Hydraulic Press thing is updated. Uh, there is now this funny competition where you can compete who makes the best crush. And by the best crush, I mean the crush that uh, <laughs> gets most people down. So gather up around the old press and see how many gets down. There is some point calculations and there is also new updates. Uh, we have multiple rooms. There is this like terrible mess room <laughs> with the old press. And if you haven't used this before, you can generate items that you want to crush from photos or text prompts. So if you haven't seen your favorite thing crushed on YouTube, you can do it yourself there. And all this is completely free. We are just testing out the platform for our new startup. I'm part of the team and the guys are adding new features all the time. So go check it out and we are working on the new bigger press still to be also included there. Oopsie. Yeah, but I think that's that's yeah. what's going to happen with your car. Yeah. I wanted to make it realistic by having like sliding plate on top. Mm. So now you are dead. <laughs> yeah, bottle jack. And this looks really sketchy. I think it's just going to fall down. We can drive it like less, less tilt after this if it's too much. Let's go. This is quite surprising. Uh, we are able to crush through the pressure relief valve on the bottle jack. So at least in this case, it's maybe even, I think it can hold even, even more weight because it's like force is like vector and now the force down 
doesn't completely transfer to the cylinder, so there's some friction force and some hydraulic force taking the load. So in theory, this can hold more like this. Mm -hmm. In theory. In theory, yeah. Don't probably try not it, yeah. in practice. Yeah, don't try uh, this at home. Okay, then we have regular, is this like floor check in English? Mm -hmm. And this doesn't have any mechanism to lock the wheels or like push them up. So no way anybody is stupid enough to just make it like roll down <laughs> the hill. So it's like this and it looks catchy as, as fuck. So let's see, can we trigger the pressure release valve or will it buckle? I think it's slightly like flexing, but the pressure release valve is also open. Should we, should we fuck around with the pressure, yeah. pressure release valve? Maybe. Yeah, let's tighten it slightly. Let's yeah. see what it likes. Okay, so this is basically the same thing as our press. This is the pump. This is the lever will go up or down. And here you can add the force. And it says do not add used. So let's do it. It's all the way closed now. Okay, it showed only 1.2 tons here before our trick that the car jack salesman hate. <laughs> Never do that. That's mm -mm. like, it's, it's, yeah. this is now way too yeah. dangerous. It's next level stupidness now. Yeah. Uh, let's see there. We have three options. We still got the press relief wolf and it just goes down. It buckles or then the whole thing just explodes. Yeah, it's buckled. Okay, and then the last one, jack stand. This should be the safest option. What is the rated, rated load for these? It's uh, three tons. Three tons, yeah. Let's see. Okay, let's see, will it fly away or will it work? Five tons? Yeah, five tons. Yeah, it was about five tons. So, mm. surprisingly cool, I would mm. say. Yeah. Uh, I think we lowered the like safety margin. If it's usually like four, now it's maybe two. But I think the biggest risk is just like car slipping down. So not optimal. Probably not optimal even they are strong enough. It might be not like enough friction. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.